So today we're going to show you how to use Coval metal coat, in particular on galvanized transmission towers and also the concrete base with our concrete coat to preserve it. With the acidic acid rains that are widespread throughout the world right now and the limited life cycle of galvanization, we can now extend that life. And we're going to show you a demonstration uh, by putting acid on uncoated galvanized versus coated galvanized. So what we have here is a piece of galvanized metal and I've coated half of it with our metal coat. The other half is just standard galvanized. It doesn't change the look very much. There's a very fine line between the two. But what I'm going to do, and this is going to be very dramatic, is I'm going to spray the equivalent of a very heavy acid rain uh, stronger than we'd ever see. Uh, but I want to show you how well the protection, the added protection, you get from the metal coat over the galvanization is going to show. And you'll see that in this simple test. So I'm going to spray on this side first. That's the uncoated side. You see how it's taking and dissolving the finish. Okay. Now I'm going to do it on the coated side and it just sits there like water. No acid is affecting that side which is coated. This side it all fizzled off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this off with water right now and you're going to see the protection level that the coating delivered. So as you can see this side sizzled up and this is the non-coated side. I'm going to rinse it off with water you can see the damage to the galvanized surface right here. That's the effect of acid rain on galvanization. The side that's coated, zero damage. Alright, so now we're going to put full strength muriatic acid. This side is not coated, this side is coated. And you're going to see some very quick damage to galvanized here. And you can, I don't know if you can see in the video, it's just burning the galvanization off. See the smoke? Hard to miss. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is now pour it on the side that's coated. Full strength. literally sits there like water. That is a very tough durable coating. Okay, before we put our coating on anything, we have to make sure the surface is free of grease and dirt. So we have developed a system at Covell. We have our step one cleaner for unpainted surfaces and for painted surfaces. Galvanized would be considered an unpainted surface. So we actually dilute it. I've diluted it four to one. So it's a very mild concentration. And this is uh, just a standard piece of galvanized cross member that you would find on a transmission tower. It's in good shape, so we don't need to remove any rust, but we do need to clean it. And this white rag will show you how effective and fast that is. On the area that has the coating, uh, the, the bird waste right here just completely wipes off very easily. Okay, The area that's not coated, and you can see the, the delineation in the line, I could get it off, took more scrubbing. But you can see how the moisture also soaked into the concrete. So what that's doing is it's transferring, transferring the acidic material in the fecal matter into the concrete, which then starts to degrade and disintegrate the metal rebar underneath. Where this side, you see it didn't get wet. It's just wet on the surface. It didn't soak in. See the differences in darkness. Now the concrete bases 
of these transmission towers need to stay intact just as much as the tower itself. So the concrete bases that this sits in suffer the same degradation over time from acid rain, bird waste, and so forth. I'm going to do the same acid test to show you how the coating on concrete, our concrete coat, preserves the concrete. So again, I'm going to use the same acid. I'm going to pour it on the concrete coat. It sits there like water. Okay? It doesn't hurt the service whatsoever. Now, I'm going to pour the acid on the uncoated side. See the difference? It's just dissolving and eating that concrete. So we think concrete is tough and durable, but it really isn't. Uh, a major difference here. Now I'll just neutralize it. No damage to the concrete. On the coated side, you can clearly see the line and the damage and the porosity of the concrete opening up. What that's now done is created a larger pathway for faster deterioration. Because originally it had a smooth surface, now we've opened up that surface, which happens over time and makes it more poor. So that process is accelerated every year. The more the concrete opens, the faster it degrades. So we have to preserve those towers in place. Merely painting them is so labor intensive because it would have to be done every couple of years where this coating should last years and years and years and years.